adventurers and everyone joining us and welcome to the last evening of our adventurers week of prayer my name is belinda and i'm from north riding church i hope we've all been blessed by the presentations so far and that we are all done with our sabbath preparations as we look forward to joining our job at north and north riding adventurers tomorrow for the big day we have listened to them present to us every day from Monday, and I'm sure you will agree that we've learned so much from these young preachers. We therefore want to invite you to come and join us tomorrow at Jobbik North Church as they share what they've prepared for us for Sabbath. Tonight, our topic is why, because. Hmm, that sounds like a question and the beginning of an answer to me, but I'm not here to give you the answer as our preacher Tobile is going to do just that. Let's perhaps get an idea of what the topic is all about by reading our memory text, which tonight is Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37, and it reads, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Why? Because. May the Lord bless the reading of his word, and may we all be blessed as we listen to our adventurers. Amen. Let us pray. Our gracious Father, Lord, today, may you please be with us as we share your word with the world. Amen. Did you just let me in want to do the best for him? Because Jesus loves me, I'll always do my best. Be obedient. Be obedient. Be pure. Be pure. Be true. Be true. Be kind. Be kind. Be respectful. Be, be respectful. Be attentive. Be helpful. Be helpful. Be cheerful. Be cheerful. Be helpful. Be thoughtful. Be reverent. Whatever you say, I will pay. No, give me all I need to show this world your love. <laughs> Bless us as little girls and boys and guide us in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Please, yes, Lord, can you let them listen to the pastor? And please, yes, Lord, can you let them listen to what the pastor says? And please, yes, Lord, can you let them listen to what the pastor do? Amen. Let us pray. Thank you for this wonderful day. Please bless. Thank you for guiding the homeless, the homeless people. And thank you for guiding us and protecting us. And thank you for guiding us that COVID is gone and the COVID is almost gone. And please protect us in church. And please protect our mommies and daddies and grandpa and grandpas and grandmas. And please forgive us and we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Jesus, I pray. Amen. Our topic of today is. I will go. Why? Because Matthew chapter 9 verse 37 it reads, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I pray and hope that you all have been blessed by the week of prayer so far. When you are walking in town, or at the mall, or even at school, have you seen anyone in the top? I know because you love Jesus, you help them, or sometimes you cannot help them, but you have the desire to help them. When you help someone, they become happy because you have given them something special, something they needed. Imagine a world with people who need healing, but they cannot get that healing. Imagine a world with hungry people, but there is no one to feed them. Imagine a world with people who need Jesus, but there is no one to preach to them. In our scripture reading today, Jesus sees the crowd, which is in need, both physical and spiritual. Jesus sees the need for more laborers as the harvest is so plenty. 
as Christians, Jesus sends us to go and preach to the world. We are like arrows in the hands of Jesus. Believing on it is not enough. We must leave the world and believe in someone. Let us pray. Our kind and gracious Father, who art in heaven, this is the time we need you most. Please, God, may protect us, may guide us as we lead us, and please, God, may protect us, may guide us, may make us understand everything we have learned. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My name is Tobler R. H. Manangachi. Thank you. Hi, church family, and warm greetings to all the adventurers. I was so happy and so amazed at what you've accomplished during this week. Wow! I have to say, wow! We have powerful preachers in our churches, eh? Thank you, thank you for blessing me and those who were watching you. Thank you for blessing us with God's beautiful messages. Boys and girls, you have been called to share God's message, God's love with everyone you come in contact with. Please continue to share the love of God with others. Mums and dads, please continue to encourage your little ones to be part of this beautiful, beautiful program called the Adventurer Club. To our leaders who are persistent, our leaders who are diligent and committed, thank you. I pray that God will bless you as we end off this amazing week of prayer with the final message, the World Adventurer Day message that will be shared with us. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I pray that you will continue to have an exciting and funful time in the adventurous. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father in heaven, oh, we're so thankful that you blessed us with our lovely, beautiful adventurers. Thank you for blessing each little one and giving them the courage not just to listen, not just to be a part of, but Father, also to share your beautiful message with others. Father, I pray that you will continue to bless them, continue to keep them in your care. Thank you for mums and dads. Thank you for leaders. Thank you for a church program. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. <music>